Hello and welcome to an EverQuest guide for a level 120 bard. So this is how I play a bard. This is uh, solely from my my point of view. Uh, this you know works in the way I box a bard. This is the way I play the bard. I just want to put out this disclaimer. I've never raided with a bard. I've I've had a bard at a hundred plus for four years, maybe now, uh, different, you know, different characters and stuff, maybe, uh, longer, but this is how I do the bard. Now, if you watch the previous setup guides for my bards at the, uh, 115, 110 and 105 levels, uh, it has changed significantly since then. And we'll kind of go into all that right now. So. Uh, we're going to start out with spells, go through all the different spells I do. Uh, we'll go through some of the hot bar stuff here and uh, whatnot, and we'll see uh, what else we can talk about. Maybe final, final, uh, we'll talk about gear. All right, so for spells, uh, my first spell is Aria of the Ply, uh, Zen Leeko, rank two. So this is our uh, kind of our group buff here. Increases spell damage by 47%. Uh, decays on spells over 120. Keep that in mind. Increases your companion's attack speed. This is over haste by 25%. Uh, increases their chance to triple attack by 40%. And their chance to flurry by 6%. And uh, adds 36% chance for pets to flurry. Now, keep in mind, these all these songs land on pets. So... I run a pet heavy group with a mage, a necromancer, and a shaman. So all these things benefit them. Uh, next up, I have War Chorus of the Blood Beast. <laughs> it's, the, uh, it's the group haste song. This uh, is actually point blank uh, AOE. Uh, hits everybody. There might be a different one, uh, but this is the level 120 version. Increases attack speed to... Uh, 59%, 207 strength, 122 attack, 778 a damage shield, and that is it. So this is a nice little uh, song for, you know, getting extra haste out there if needed. Uh, I do not run an enchanter, so I need as much haste as I possibly can get. And then uh, we have Chorus of the Valshara. This is our mana regen song, so this increases uh, the health regen by 220, the mana regen by 175, and endurance by 14 every 6 seconds. And then uh, we have 4 chants. Uh, this is new from the last guide, so these are just the highest level chants that we have available to us at this current level at 120, uh, and the highest rank. So. The higher the rank, the better. <laughs> uh, keep that in mind. So each of these last 18 seconds, and uh, they do anywhere between 4,900 damage per tick to 5,445 damage per tick at here at the rank 2. Uh, so you can kind of see here, uh, these four songs produce, uh, you know, what is this? Let's say 5, 20,000 a tick, let's say. Uh, along with resi lowering resists of, you know, disease, cold, fire, and poison by 29. So keep all of that in mind as we go to the next spells. So then we have Yelenax Insult. Uh, Yelenax Insult is a direct damage uh, spell that does 5,900, and it does not cause the target to move. There is another one uh, that causes the target to move. Uh, we're not using that one. Now, the reason why we have this spell specifically <laughs> is because it is, uh, is a part of the synergy, right? So every time we cast this, we will get a increase of one melee attack or one melee or one direct damage spell by 180,000. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is pretty insane. Now, melee attack or direct damage spell. Now keep that in mind. <laughs> so that every six seconds we can add 180,000 to that, right? And then next rank, 
uh, yellow axe insult is the last one. So it, I could I could still theoretically still use Sathir's insult right now, but uh, I I wanted a little extra thousand damage, so I moved up one rank. Uh, these do cast mana, and uh, uh, that is you know it drains the mana of the bard. Man Bards do not regenerate mana normally, uh, so it you know. It, causes me to have downtime at times but uh, as i get gear it gets better uh, i only regenerate 269 mana regen per uh, per tick at the moment anyway uh but it, it triggers that uh, i'll have to move uh, i'll have to move to yellow if i was using sethir's but uh, i think i could use nord's disdain also which does just a little bit more mana it's the 118 one uh, but right now I'm trying to conserve as much mana as I possibly can. All right, so kind of there you see the next rank is 225 damage. Now that goes to everybody in the group plus all the pets. Now keep in mind any direct damage spell or any melee attack will trigger that. All right, then I have Pulse of Nicholas rank 2. So it increases your companion's health regen by 312 your mana regen by 220 and uh, endurance regeneration by 22 increases the yield of healing spells by 14 percent uh which increases the amount healed by 14 percent and uh decays on spells over 120. all right that's just another spell then i have slumber of the diablo or diablo i guess <laughs> yeah diablo uh this will uh Mez something for 18 seconds, 10% chance they'll forget. I, I up to 123. I do not mez anymore. I have spells memorized for it, but I, I just tank everything. It's saved me a lot of heartache <laughs> trying to stop the bard to mez something. It just saves me a lot of pain. Uh, then I have Silence of Quietus, rank 2, which is the, the uh, lull spell that bards get. It does up to uh, 120. At 121, we will get a new version of this, which will uh, make it more useful. Because uh, right now, at a level cap of 120, it's kind of not that great. So you can see here, we can uh, lull these, uh, you know, target dummies and stuff like that it's for pulling. Uh, then we have Ecliptic Psalm here, which uh, is very expensive. 8,200 endurance, and uh, I, you know, I don't have much endurance regen. I think we had uh, 33 endurance regen from the spells that we cast, but I don't even know if those affect the bard at all. Anyway, uh, but the Psalm here adds uh, 9,800. Uh, damage to fire, magic, cold spells between 111 and 125 that cost more than death. So every spell that is cast by my other characters, mage, uh, necro, and stuff like that, this adds 9,800 damage to that. Pretty nice. And then it also restores uh, 5,700 hit points, 200, uh, or 2,200 mana, and 326 endurance uh when it lands so and also increases <laughs> uh damage of melee attacks uh so definitely a nice little you know adps buff for everybody and then here in the last spot i have uh song of suffering this adds uh 13,000 magical damage to melee attacks so this is more or less a puff, uh, puff, a buff for pets. The way I, the way I'm using it, because I don't have, I'm not running a melee heavy group, but I do have three, uh, three pets that are doing melee, a paladin that's doing melee, and I do melee with the bard, um, and most of the time, <laughs> I do not melee with my uh, mage, my necromancer, or my shaman, just because like positioning more than one character is really annoying all right so those are the spells i keep memorized at all times i do have a macro over here uh to mem my aura i do use the more the aura of uh shay Vintaris. uh let's go ahead and just cast that right so this macro just 
pretty much puts it in uh, the last spot, waits, you know, five seconds, cast it, and uh, you can see here, what does this do? Calls for the blessing of a renewal, adding uh, 1,000 health regen, 294 health regen, and 23 endurance every six seconds, as long as they stay in the, the area, right? You can see here, it does not affect the bard. <laughs> Mana regen does not affect the bard, so uh, it affects everybody else. But this is, uh, this is the aura I picked to use because I have mana problems with my characters at the moment. Uh, and that, that'll slowly go away as they get, you know, better and better gear. But, uh, currently that is the, uh, situation I'm running into. So I run that one. You could run the other aura, which, uh, which is the echo. No, it's the aura of Penlaco, Pen Zenlakio, which it kind of, it's, it's, you know, I'm already doing the aria, right? Which, uh, covers most of it but the aura will pick up i think another little bit that you can add into there but eh it's not really that big a deal all right so let's go back to our normal spell set here uh bar dps now if you remember from the last videos like i did not have any chance uh now i do chance so let's kind of go through everything here and we'll then we'll talk about how i multi-bind and the melody that i'm running so my uh, assist is a normal standard assist that I use on all my characters. X target 19, which is, where is my, where's my paladin? Let's target something, jeez. Uh, let's target that one. All right, so my paladin targeted that, and now my X target 19 is populated with uh, the combat dummy, uh, Dina, right? So when I target X target 19, it's whatever my my uh my paladin's targeting right makes sense and then i have a pet attack a pet swarm so bards get swarm pets uh, i don't know if you can actually control them but i just throw them in there anyway just to make sure i use the same macros on all my characters so works there then i have uh um well four and five are multi bind let's actually cover that first so uh inside the game client you can actually multi bind buttons so if we go to hotbar six right you can see here four and five are both the same assist button but if we look here at the hot mark he uh five and four are assigned to all these key, all these hot bars down here <laughs> so anytime i hit five or four anything on these hot bars will be activated in order uh so it's uh i have a whole video on multibind and how it you know works right it works without any third-party software it's all built into the client so keep that in mind all right so my first burn i do uh spire which is class spire of the troubadour no minstrels all right so this just increases our uh a lot of stuff <laughs> let me see here uh see here C proves the prob combat prowess of all group members uh pass effect increases your health Strength by that reduces melee damage taken, increases uh, damage done by spells, and yeah, so it's kind of defensive, kind of you know, extra damage. ADPS is what it is. And then I have uh, used the breastplate and the breastplate ability for. Uh, us right now let's see here effect so uh whatever the hell that is <laughs> triggers uh this and so it triggers the root which this note increases melee damage bonus by 3700 and spell so it adds damage to melee and spell attacks uh becomes everybody in the group gets it so Everybody in the group gets this one. So 1500 extra bonus melee damage and 8,000 bonus. Eight thousand bonus spell damage. And it lasts for 45 uses or 12 seconds. Uh so that's pretty nice. Nice little extra damage. And then I have blood drinkers coating in here. I don't actually have it on this character. Uh, it's just when I copy these 
macros from uh, Frona Vias there. Uh, and that is a uh, right click uh, life tap uh, potion. All right, and then I have my second one, I have Funeral Dirge, Cacophony. Yes, it keeps, I keep saying it wrong. It's uh, uh, cacophony. What is that? My, my wife tells me how to say it all the time. Cacophony. I think this is what it is. Uh, I keep saying it wrong, but whatever. It's cacophony. Is, um, I'm just going to go with that. Uh, Frenzy Kicks and Dance of Blades. So if we take a look at these, right? Fun Funeral Urge right here increases the damage your target takes from melee attacks by 22%. So this is a debuff on the target that causes everybody else to do more damage, ADPS. Uh, Cacophony here uh, adds, uh, deals 25,000 to the target and then does 35,000 over six seconds, every six seconds for a minute. So it's a lot of damage coming out on that one. And then Frenzied Kicks. Uh, this just lowers the reuse time of our kick. So we have kick auto skilled. So it's pretty nice. And then Dance of Blades right here grants you 100% chance to dual wield, double attack, and increase your chance to triple attack by 100%, performing a flurry of attacks uh, by 60%, and your accuracy by 115%. Just huge melee buff to our melee damage is really what that is and then i have disc uh, thousand blades which inc increases our accuracy and all this other stuff uh deals five percent critical extra damage and then uh yeah that lasts for a minute so it's just just a lot of a lot of extra damage going out and then i have over here song of stone summons three gargoyles that attack the target spire already have spire in here all right i got spire twice for some reason i think that was because i used to have i used to have these a little bit laid out differently uh i used to actually have i have everything in my multi bind now pretty much I don't, even, I don't even care that's how uh that's how much damage i want uh during normal combat and then uh i have shout down here as the last one it consumes endurance to do uh 30,000 damage and stun the target. So I don't have the max rank, so it's not going to stun anything that I fight in combat. And then it lowers resists by quite a bit. So it's a nice little extra thing. I have it in the burn just in case for some reason it's not getting activated any other way. Uh, then I have a button for sitting. Uh, bards need to sit to get back mana <laughs> or, or be on a mount. It just depends. I also have a mount here uh, for... Uh, just getting mounted up. This is the uh, Terror of Luckland uh, for finishing all the group missions, uh, all the group content uh, mounts. Pretty nice. Uh, then I have on numpad one, I have an assist button. So this kind of just gets a little bard attacking, right? It sends all the pets on there uh, that the bard can have. And then uh, reflexive rebut rebuttal. Uh, da, 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 right here it's a 113 I don't f I feel like I should have gotten an upgrade but I didn't uh, this uh, delivers a one hand slashing uh, attacks base damage so just an extra slash attack that goes out and then it restores mana to the group keep that in mind restores mana to the group and you know what I'm gonna do let's change this up real quick Let's grab this ability. I don't know why it's not there, but let's pop it right there. So we use it on cooldown. <laughs> and then uh, Pet Swarm. Uh, she does have Pet Swarm swarm pets running around, so make sure we control those and get them going. And then I have another DPS one. Uh, not really as useful anymore for the way I play it now. Uh, I'm using the multibind, and I have all these in the multibind, so... Uh, Boastful Bellow. Uh, does 32,000 damage with some other things. Uh, cacophony here, uh, 25,000 damage. Quick time is a moneymaker for the bard. Where is it? Uh, so enhances the rhythm of all group members within a 100 foot radius, which increases their attack power by 1,500, their accuracy by 90%. Your chance to land a second additional 
hit with two-handed weapons or one additional hit with one-handed weapons in primary and secondary by 15%. Reduces casting time on spells and songs by 0.5 and base delay of weapons by 15% for two minutes. This is the biggest ADBS spell probably in the game, honestly. This is uh, fantastic for getting everybody just a little bit extra of an edge, right? And then we have Fierce Eye, which increases all group members in a 200 foot radius, base melee damage by 30%, critical melee damage by 30%, the chance to trigger weapons magical effects by 300%, the damage of healing spells by 13%, and a chance your damage and healing spells apply critical by 15%. So Fierce Eye and Quick Time just kind of really just synergize really well, making the Bard you know, probably the top ADPS character class in the game. Um, but I have all that on my DPS macro. And then a debuff macro here, um, a bladed song, which uh, causes the target to take 5,000 damage every time they land a melee hit. Now, this, uh, you know, this stacks with all the other damage shields, right? I think I can get up to like 20, 30,000 damage shield, just normal damage shields from you know, the stuff that I normally have. Add another 5,000 on that every time they hit. I mean, it's starting to add up pretty high and I'm not even max rank yet, next to 7,000. So pretty nice. And then I have Funeral Dirge here again, which uh, increases the damage that the target takes by 22% for uh, a whole minute. So it's pretty nice. And then it does 55,000 when it ends. And then I have uh, Shout, which again, it was in the burn. Uh, but it also does uh, 30,000 damage and then uh, does a debuff by 20, 20 all resists. And then when it fades, it does 250,000 damage and a turn attack on. Cause you know, if I don't have attack on at this point, I need it on. <laughs> all right. So you can kind of see there, we we're doing pretty much everything we have on cooldown as much as we can. Uh, I do have macros here for Mez. I must make sure they're actually set up right. So I stop my song, I target X target. Uh, seven. So if we have not heard, I have all my X targets on all my characters set up the exact same way, the exact same order. Uh, so one through six is my group. Seven through 18 are targets that I am not currently engaged with. 19 is the current assist target. So whatever my paladin is fighting, this is right here. And then at the end, we have the group tank who is currently my paladin. So I do. I stop my song. I, I I should swap these, like all these lines. This should go here. So it shouldn't be stop song attack off, then X target seven. Uh, but it really doesn't matter uh, at, at this point anyway. And then uh, so yeah, it's, there's a chance for like you'll hit the you'll hit it right. That's that's pretty much it. Is. But I don't mess anymore, so I don't really care. Uh, but you stop the song, you target X target seven, which would be whatever target is right here. You pause for just enough for that spell cast to cast. And then you turn attack off. Uh, and that'll mess the target. Uh, it will constantly cast like so. I can't actually demonstrate it here, but let's target this guy and just click it. Right. So it's going to cast the mez, right? And it'll mez that target. And that's all she's going to be doing. She's going to be ca constantly casting that, uh, that, well, actually she only casts it once, I believe. And I have to recast it as needed because it's not a melody. So she won't, uh, recast. I don't believe that's how that works. Just casts it once. Let me see if we target this one. Let's see if she does anything. I don't think so. Anyway, I do that for X target eight and seven here just to get some mezzing out if needed. But at this point in the game, I do not mez. Things are randomly unmezzable. Uh, things, it's just, it breaks the whole flow and the ADPS that the bard provides to mez. So it's just not even worth my time. Uh, then I have a follow macro attack off uh, X target one, which is, who you know, whoever I'm playing as the lead character, which is Holdridge, my tank. Uh, I stand up because if you're sitting, you can't follow <laughs> and I follow and then I invite. So to make it easier for me to join the group, if I 
invite everybody with my paladin and then they all invite him they all join the group it just it's magic uh i've covered it in a million videos at this point works good and then the rest of this bar is just teleportation uh uh, items and just random macros I dragged off. I used to do AOE mez, but it's like, I don't know, it's it's usefulness wears off really quick. Because uh, you get it at like the, the last level of an expansion, and then it wears off fairly quick into the next expansion. So it's just like, maybe at 125 I might run around with it, but I don't mess, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then yeah, those are all those and then let's go into melodies. So I have a melody for resting So this is where I'm me actively metting, but The bard does not met right and that is a rare case, but this does a melody of three and Nine Come on click it pulse. So this does chorus and pulse, you know giving what is this? Uh, Let's just click it. So this will uh, do the melody of these two spells, which should increase everybody else's mana regen. Let's go to the mage here. Ah, uh, yeah, she's at a thousand mana regen now. So everybody, you know, benefits from it except for the bard. Keep that in mind. So I just have that, you know, certain cases where I actually use this. Most of the time, I don't because. When I need to med, the bard is out of mana. And when the bard is out of mana, the bard has to sit or be on a mount. And so, you know, it just depends, right? I can, you know, obviously I can mount up the bard and I can do the same thing and it works. Theoretically, why is she not casting? There we go. Uh, it works the same, but uh, I hate mounting up, so it just depends. Uh, then I have my DPS melody. Now this is a work in progress. I've been tweaking this left and right, but uh, the concept is, oh my God, I get these three off. So I get Aria, War March, Chorus off. Now I, I want to switch this. I just haven't switched it yet, but I want to move, so four, five, six, and seven right here. I want to move these in between. Uh, here, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and do it now, and I'll show you. So, Melody one, I want Aria out, right? So, I just spelled Melody wrong. So, one, and we're going to do four, and then we're going to do two, and then we're going to do five, then we're going to do three, and then we're gonna do six, right? Then we're gonna do eight, and then we're gonna do seven. All right. So where is that at? That puts us there. One, two, three, eight. Effectively, I wanna do a chant in between every song because chants only last for 18 seconds, so. Um, eight, and then we're going to go back into one, and then four, five, no, four, two, five, three, six, eight. <laughs> this is so confusing. Seven, I shouldn't do it in real time here. Uh, and then back into the same thing, right? So if we kind of look at this, right? If we turn this one off up here, just put that like that. I know it's not complete, but you can kind of see here we do Aria and then we do Chant. And then if we go over here, uh, Aria is a 30 second. So we have that extra time as we're, you know, casting all these spells. And we just want to intertwine these two things. So so we're in guild hall so these aren't going to wear off i don't believe i actually it looks like they are but uh that's kind of cool so you can see here it's just recasting those it's it's a work in progress i still need to like really figure it out and actually spend some time <laughs> probably put it on a uh, spreadsheet so i can look at all the different times and stuff like that but uh 
effectively doing that, right? So the, the one I have up here kind of goes through all that and then only does one uh, ecliptic and then one suffering. So I want to kind of tweet weave those in a little bit more. So between this one and this one should be about 30 seconds ish to keep, you know, the timers right, right? But I think uh, I think that's a little off right now. So there's some tweaking that needs to be done there. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'm going to fix that by the time we go to 125. But uh, there's a lot of good posts on uh, the forums and stuff like that. You know, mentioning how to play a bard and stuff like that that are very inspirational. And uh, I did use to kind of come up with some of this stuff. Uh, but... Uh, we're, we're we're moving into DPS. We want more DPS out of this. Uh, this is my old melody uh, that I don't use anymore. I can actually just take that off the bar. And I don't even know what that one is. Take that one off the bar too. So those are the two melodies I use. And, you know, it works fairly well, I think. Like, uh, if we look at the damage here, each of these chants is doing like 100,000 damage. Uh, that one did... 475,000 damage with a lucky critical. So DPS wise, the Bard is now my like number two, number three, number one DPS, depending on the situation. Uh, so, and you know, we go in here and get melee attacks in, right? Uh, let's see here, melee. You can kind of see she's just doing massive melee damage. And where is the button? Uh, skills. Now, I didn't realize this until recently, but uh, bards get triple attack, double attack, and all this stuff. So they're they are like a melee class on their own. So I really try my best to get her into melee combat. I don't like how I can't see. Uh... There we go. You can kind of see now her damage, right? Criticals and flurries. Lots of just lots of damage. The minimum hit seems kind of low because I I'm assuming like you know hundreds, like a six hundred there, compared compared to like the highs. So you know it's it's significant damage, right? And it's a very nice uh, stop song. All right, so that's my melodies that I use. I got a stop song macro for just stopping the songs. And then here is my my multibind. So every time I hit four or five, she is activated and starts doing so. We do boastful, cacophony, uh, <laughs> cacophony, uh, quick time, lyrical prankster. I don't think I mentioned this one. This, this one summons five gargoyles that that taunt. Uh, this is all to take pressure off of Holdridge, Song of Stone, which is the three gargoyles, Fierce Eye which uh, is the, the ADPS buff, Bladed Song, another um, buff, AD, ADPS buff, because every time it hits, it takes damage, does damage. Uh, then the, the resisty buff one. Uh, I also have tracking on here. I'm, I track at all times so I can find names, so I can go hunt them, kill them, get armor. Uh, Funeral Dirge and then uh, Rebuttal, which we put in here at the beginning of this episode. So if we kind of... Here, let me get the log parser going. All right, I have the log parser running. Let's get, uh, let's see if we can get that going. So here, we just, this is nothing but melee right now. Uh, so we're doing about 120, 120, okay, 140K now. Yeah, let's say 120K because it's jumping up and down like 20K. <laughs> All right, that's like, you know, that's based on how like random it is, right? So now if we add in my DPS melody here. Now she doesn't take benefit from some of these things, but I believe she gets benefit from the haste, right? So she's like 225 haste. Um, every other buff, I, I, I think, I think only over haste is the only one that actually applies because the, the shaman is giving us uh uh 75 percent haste from her aura so there we go now we're doing about 180k dps now 
like it seems fairly consistent playing this now we're at 200 this is only melee right only melee with uh songs so it's pretty nice it, well I, I said i said that wrong it's only songs and melee so you can kind of see here we're getting a little bit of dps from this now keep in mind i do not have any of the focuses for any of the chants uh like i'm everything's like claws of Vision, right uh, I am, don't have those. I don't have any of the A's. Like I am, I'm, like, I'm way out of AA. So, you know, this is, uh, this is a very under tuned character at the moment, but 250 K DPS, that is not, that's not bad for me literally doing nothing. I'm not pushing any buttons. This is just auto attack on with, uh, auto skill kick because she does kick right and then playing the chance that's it that's absolutely it now a lot of the stuff she's doing is adps which is benefiting every other character so she's giving dps to them too but i mean we're at 270 000 dps right now now i'm going to start pushing four which is going to start activating all this other stuff and we're going to see the damage go up there we go so we can kind of see all the little pets came out uh, I think we're, let's say we're at 275. I think that was probably a good estimate now. Now we're getting up into 300. We've used all our, uh, all our AA abilities at this point. So about 300. So we get, just by using all those abilities, we get another, you know, bit of DPS there. Plus all the little pets, you know, they're going to be attacking and doing stuff. These pets benefit the mage I run, uh, from the, the pets are uh, the mages uh, of the mini line, so that's even more <laughs> more damage uh, being provided. But not too bad, right? This is without like a burn. This is just like normal group DPS right now. Three hundred twenty-five, you know, two hundred twenty-five. Yeah, it's getting up into three hundreds. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, I think I've seen her get up to like four hundred thousand DPS just uh, doing stuff. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of randomness involved in that. But I think as, as she gets uh, all her AAs maxed out, I think 500k DPS doing this is obtainable. Because uh, that'll, you know, all the chance will be maxed out. Which if we look at this, right, we're missing almost 10 ranks of chant and spell damage increase, right? Look at this. Like each one is like 10%. So that's going to be a ton of a ton of damage. Uh, we're missing, you know, almost all the half the ranks of the, the insult we do. So that'll be another bunch of damage that we get. And we don't have the Epic 2.0, which is even more damage, uh, which is something we'll be working on soon. I'm probably going to do all the Epic 2.0s at 125 just because uh, it's easier to he's here to do things at 125 let's just say that uh but you know now we're you know kind of down at like 355 dps which isn't too bad 355,000 dps is not terrible um uh, considering the amount of support we're adding to the group itself now keep that in mind uh so that's pretty nice and yeah i think 350 is a good number but you know we're keeping we're keeping all the chants up pretty much the entirety of the time uh some of them you know get resisted right and they get they fall off but keeping all four chants on is our goal along with uh getting insult out there and uh psalm so it's you know working pretty good all right let's go ahead and stop melee and stop song so you know it's decent dps but the the benefit is that we're providing ADPS to everybody else, and we uh, we give run speed to everybody. I love running fast, uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, and I think this is more DPS than I was able to get out of my Enchanter uh, at 120 on Front of Eye before I switched over here. So it is uh, it is interesting. All right, so that is spells. That is all of my hotbars. That's my multi-bind. Multi-bind is built in the client, like I said. 
Uh, what do we have up here? We have an Invis macro. So this is stop song, uh, attack off, and then act alt activate 231, which is uh, Shari's sonorous <laughs> clouding, which is double Invis, gives us Invis to undead, Invis to uh, uh, live mobs, plus it does levitate, but I block levitate on all my characters. Pretty nice song. I, if you watch any of my videos, you notice I, I use this nonstop. It is, it is a time saver to say the least. Um, Dirge of the Sleepwalker. I don't use this because it's out outranked. <laughs> like you'd, I would have to go back to, uh, like uh, COV or lower, I think, to actually have the this actually work. Uh, since I don't have the max A on it, but it, it will mess something for a minute and twelve seconds. And, but you can't do anything else, which kind of hinders everything else that I do. So, uh, Sonic Disturbance is my pull ability that I use. So, uh, it's a pretty long range, right? It's like 250 range. I think I can be like all the way, all the way over here, probably further. Yeah, I can be further than that. <laughs> so that is, uh, you know, this it's a good pull ability. It's got a 12 second reuse, but, uh, I, I don't pull that much with my bard, so. Uh, then we have a rallying call, uh, which incre increases, uh, or takes our endurance and mana to give it to somebody else and uh, whatnot. I, I don't use this as much as I probably should, mostly because if you do something offensive, it stops and I don't like to stop. And if I do stop, I just invis everybody up in med. Like, that's and just go AFK while they met up. Uh, Rallying Solo. Now, this one's pretty good because it increases our mana regen and endurance regen by 8,000 for 30 seconds. But it breaks early if we take offensive action. And if I'm already stopped, as I said, it's like, why bother, right? And it can only be used if you're less than 30% uh, mana regen. So it's, it's actually pretty useful um, if you're actually going to sit and wait. <laughs> And then uh, I have the wrong cloak down there. And then I have a uh, cloak, which just gives us uh, illusionary spikes, which is a damage shield. Uh, and then I have my familiar clicky for uh, summoning the familiar, which gives us 1400 hit points and extra damage and some regeneration. So it's pretty nice. Uh, and then I do have uh, I only have two illusions on this character, Skeleton and Barbarian. <laughs> I have not put any effort into uh, going to get any other illusion masks yet. So it is uh, what it is. She actually looks pretty good in a Barbarian. I didn't know there was a double ponytail Barbarian. That's kind of cool. All right. That is that. Let's talk about gear. Um. You want the best you can get, right? At 120, uh, the best you can get is Lorien Song Tier 1, which is this uh, Galliant armor here. Uh, it's the best you can get for that. But if you're stuck in, you know, TLP and the best you, you know, you're going to want Tier 3 of the highest expansion you can get. So at 120, the best you could get would be either Night of Shadows or Terror of Luckling tier 3 armor. That's going to be better. Uh, but it falls off to the uh, Lorian Song tier 1. So it just depends on which expansion you're in. You're going to want the best for that. Uh, I'm currently running... Uh, what are these? I'm running these two weapons, which are uh, one hand piercing in the main hand and a slashing in the off hand. Uh, 19 delay main with a 360 damage and a uh, 21 delay offhand with a 399 damage. Uh, this one has a life tap on it and the this one has a stun. Uh, I'm running the stun primary so I can get the stun uh, proc. Uh, if I can pick up the remote healing one, I'd probably put that in my offhand and keep the stun in the main hand. Uh, but these are both su substantially good weapons. Uh, I do not have any hawks for weapons or anything like that, but I do have the stun in the main hand because I do want it to stun. Uh, 
I'm going to be trying attempts at the the Lorian Song uh, Paolo Min Qua uh, group mission. I'm going to try to do that at 121, and so I just want I want her to be able to stun on uh, <laughs> as much as possible for that mission, along with all the other stuff. So. Uh, that's what I run weapon wise everything else is you know, you know, you're gonna want a power source I have the Luckanite attacker power source here Which uh, What these do is they adjust your stats on your uh, Armor that have purity on them. So you see how I have like negative Stamina because this has given me negative stamina, right? So I gain dexter heroic dexterity, but I lose heroic stamina. I gain heroic strength, but I lose heroic stamina. And I get more endurance regen, heal amount, and stuff like that. So it's a fair trade, if you ask me. <laughs> it's a fair trade. It just, uh, like, see here, I get four endurance regen for this breastplate. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let's see here. I'm not doing any tribute yet on any of these characters because I don't have enough stuff uh, to actually tribute yet. And then I think that's it. Like gear wise, I, I'm going to move to uh, Lorian Song Tier 3 and Tier 2 as I get into those expansions and stuff like that. The end goal for all my boxes on this server are. Uh, Lorian Song Tier 3 gear, which is the crafted gear. Uh, I will I will have to get somebody up for crafting, so uh, there will be some crafting that is involved, but... Uh, and a lot of farming for all the different slots, but the Tier 2 stuff is easily, easily obtainable uh, just by doing the missions and killing names, so I'll uh, probably do that and then slowly move everybody to the Tier 3, but uh, don't plan on making too big of changes from that. I don't pl plan on raiding with any of these characters. So that's where they're at. But I think that is everything for the bard. I've gone on way too long. <laughs> uh, spells, hotbar, how I run everything. I don't use mercenaries. Um, yeah, I think that's good. That's everything. So that is the 120 bard, uh, how I play it exactly, how I play it and whatnot so if you have any questions or comments please leave them below uh thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day